Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I felt the need to turn on the camera and show you just exactly what I look like when I first wake up in the morning. I just rolled out of bed. Somehow my ponytail has inverted on itself. This is what people look like first thing in the morning. I watch a lot of YouTubers who, you know, they you think they look perfect all the time and you're like, wow, they really have their shit together and I'm disgusting. Sometimes you can compare yourself, so I just wanted to show you. Hi. I need to at least fix this ponytail. Like this is very Deb from Napoleon Dynamite. So today is a very exciting day because I am officially fully vaccinated. I've been fully vaccinated, but this is my official two weeks post vaccination. So I am like fully vaxxed and <laughs> just feels really surreal. So what I think I might do today is possibly go thrifting. I know. <laughs> You need to take out my nose line. This is gross. I'm highly considering going thrifting today. I'm hoping that if I go right when they open, it won't be busy and then I can get in and out and just kind of ease my way back into things because I think that that's eventually going to have to happen. Oh my God, what would I even wear? I honestly can't even, I can't. That's too overwhelming to think about. But we're gonna go downstairs because I have a new product that I purchased that I wanna try out on camera. I've seen a lot of people talking about it and I'm really curious, so let's check it out. I recently purchased Chamberlain Coffee. It is Emma Chamberlain's coffee company. I think she has it with her dad, maybe? It smells so good. So I, I'm 33, so I, you know, sometimes watching Emma Chamberlain makes me feel 80, but I think she's wonderful. And uh, I decided to try out her coffee company because people were saying that it's actually like pretty good. It's not just like, oh, a YouTuber made a coffee brand. It's, I've heard it's pretty good. So I ordered the decaf because I have anxiety. I noticed probably, I think I stopped drinking caffeine back in, I think I've talked about this before too, back in like 2012 or 13, because I noticed when I was having caffeine that my anxiety was worse than it had ever been. I was getting constant panic attacks. And I don't know if it was just the coincidence of when I stopped drinking caffeine, but I stopped getting regular panic attacks. It was literally the thing that saved me. Um, I had like debilitating anxiety and it was Awful. So I drink decaf now because coffee is one of my favorite flavors in the world. So I got this Sleepy Sloth decaf blend. I got the ground type of beans. Like I got them already ground because I don't have a coffee grinder and I didn't want to have to buy one, even though I know it would probably taste better if I ground them from whole bean. But anyways, this is what it looks like. It was pretty expensive. I think it was like 20 or $30. It also came with these little temporary tattoos. I was like, what are these called? Temporary tattoos. What a throwback. So there's this cute little tab and you just pull it and you just open it like this and it reseals. Love that. So, okay. This is probably a good time to talk about this then. I purchased this motherfucker. It's covered in dust because we haven't used it in a while. I purchased this Smeg coffee maker because number one, I kind of wanted to try it out because all of like the influencers have it. But number two, just cause it's cute, but it's hard to tell. This is like literally a spaceship. It is so big. It takes up like almost this entire counter. It's really hard to tell on camera, but in person you see it and you're like, whoa. That is a big coffee maker compared to this like tiny little Nespresso thing, but I feel like I need to test it out like as a cup of coffee. So I'm unfortunately gonna be using this and also I just don't think it's like that great. I've heard a lot of people rave about it, but for almost $200, it's just extremely overpriced in my opinion. Yeah, it's cute, but it's just huge and annoying. So anyways, okay, let's test it out. The other thing is like how you, you pour it this far, right? And then you don't have any more room to pour it. So you're just like bending. <laughs> it's dripping everywhere. I just don't understand. Am I doing something wrong? Do I need to be right-handed? Like how, how do you get the rest of the water in there? Even when you try from this side, like how, how do you get it in the hole? You can't, I don't understand. I think I'm gonna do two scoops because I did four cups. Is that right? Ooh, I don't know. There we go. This lighting isn't fantastic, but we're gonna try the Chamberlain coffee. Cheers. I think I made it a little weak. I don't know if I needed to brew it stronger. I don't really taste much. Am I that girl on TikTok who discovered she had COVID? <laughs> I'm kidding. 
I'd be really curious to try this as like a cold brew option and maybe I'll have better luck with that and maybe I'll brew it like a little bit stronger and then I'll do it as like an iced coffee type of thing. So maybe I'll do that in the future, but it's very good. It's like a nice subtle coffee flavor. That's my really super, super scientific review. Definitely gonna keep drinking it. Like the more I drink it, the more I like it actually. Pretty nice. Still a 100% team iced coffee, iced latte person, but it's good. The only, yeah, that was the other thing I forgot to mention is that um, the only thing that I wish was different, I wish they had the decaf ones in the bags. Cause that's sort of like Chamberlain Coffee's thing is like making coffee bags, like tea bags. And they didn't offer, from what I saw, they didn't offer the decaf ones in bags. So I had to buy like the drip coffee one. Okay, now I'm going to make some breakfast and I think I'm gonna get ready. I'm so excited. You know, it's funny because you have these conversations with friends, family. I've been asked this question in Q and A's and it's like, what are you going to wear when you do your first outing? And like the first time I went to the grocery store, I was basically in my pajamas. The first time I saw my mom, I was pretty sure I was in my pajamas. So the first time I go to the thrift store, what am I going to wear? Do I want to wear something like, you know, you think you're going to go all out, right? But really, I just want to be comfortable. <laughs> if I've learned one thing from this panty is that I will never be uncomfortable in my clothing again. So I'm still trying to decide, but I did pick out this little cord that I've had for a while. Had it for like a little over a year and it's like a matching gingham thing. And that's actually super comfortable. So maybe that with like some sneakers, a little half up, half down moment. I don't know. I don't know what to do. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out together. Two hours later. Oh my goodness, hello. It is a couple hours later. I need some air. This is the specific reason why I didn't shower or wash my hair before I went to the thrift store because I knew I was gonna feel so dirty, so sweaty, so hot. And I do, I do feel all of those things. So getting ready to head home now. It was a success. I'm not gonna like, you know, ruin it. I also just completely realized as I was shopping that I forgot to bring my own donations because I always try to make donations when I'm shopping at the thrift store. My good friend Macy Eleni always says, you gotta give the good shit to get the good shit and I couldn't agree more. So I'm annoyed that I forgot that, but whatever. I'm actually gonna call Drew and see if he wants anything for lunch. Your call is to an automatic voice message. Well. We're breaking up. Oh my God, so much sweat is collecting under my boobs right now. And also there's a hair, hello? Okay. I feel like I talked about this in the video, but I feel so overstimulated. Like that was a lot. I was there for almost two hours. I think next time I need to just do like an in and out thing. I think because I hadn't been to the thrift store in like a year and two months that I was like, I need to look through everything. I need to look through every section. And I mean, I did find a lot of good stuff. So I guess there was like some benefit to that, but I was just like, by the time I left, I was like, get me out of here. It was really, really nice for those of you who have watched my vlogs throughout quarantine. It was just really nice to be able to like get out safely and do something for myself. I've been doing things here and there, uh, you know, and assessing the risk and assessing the safety level and stuff. And it's just been nice to kind of slowly ease back into things, but I do think I'm good on like going out. I like forgot how like much energy that takes. Get up, get ready, go drive to the thrift store, film all the stuff, get home, wash it, try it on, film it. Instead of just going, walking two feet away into my filming room and like filming a video, it's just funny. Like there's just so much that goes into it and I used to do it so frequently. So I've just got to get used to it again. It's totally fine, but I enjoyed it. It was a fun experience. <sighs> I feel lighter. Like I feel just lighter. Although I feel really annoyed that this top keeps rolling up, but whatever. What happens when you have rolls? Things roll. Okay, I'm gonna figure out what to pick up for lunch and I'm going to shower from head to toe and then I will catch up with you guys later. Good morning. It is like five days later, something like that. Sometimes I've just been really enjoying having the camera off. And like when I feel those times where I don't feel like picking up the camera, I just don't. And today I do, so I'm very happy to be here with you. I have just finished self tanning. I've got my pajamas on, but when I film, you're only gonna be able to see from here up, so it's fine. I've got like a nice little Y2K hairstyle going on here today. Just having a little bit of fun with it, because why not? We're a year plus into quarantine, you know? 
Let's just have fun. I'm also super excited because Alexa and I are texting right now and Girlfriend Collective is releasing swimwear tomorrow. <sighs> it's like they knew I needed them. And then also later today, I'm super excited because I'm gonna be talking with Jessica. I'm gonna have a little FaceTime date with Jess. Actually, I need to like hurry up because that's gonna be in like an hour and I have two videos to film. So anyways, just wanted to check in, say hello, how's it going? Things are going well over here. It's Monday morning, I can't remember if I said that. Just had my perfect bar, I love them. And we're gonna film some thrifting content. So a few days ago, went to the thrift store, got home, washed everything, got it all cleaned and sanitized. Now I'm gonna try it all on. My hair is extremely dirty, extremely dirty and i've just put about half of a container of dry shampoo in it it's like day four i really need to wash it but i wanted to like put on some self tanner and let that develop before i wash my hair i want to just like wash it all off at the end of the day today so that's the plan we are going to get some work done and then have a cute little facetime date with jessica yay It is so much later now. It's like 4.30 p.m. Whoops. I got on my FaceTime call with Jess. We talked for like three hours. These things happen. But the uh, thing that's really on my mind after a long work day is not what it typically would be, which number one, I yes, I did change back into my pajamas. That's my go-to. And I'd usually like get into bed, decompress, watch a video or something. But I really want to try this thing that I got from the thrift store. And yes, this is real. I really did find an old school classic Chia Pet at the thrift store. And I'm very excited about it. It costs $4.99. And in case you weren't a kid of the 90s, which if you weren't, I don't know what to tell you. If you weren't a kid of the 90s and you didn't know the magnificence that was a Chia Pet and the commercials that they had, um, you missed out. It is essentially chia seeds that you smear on like a pot and it grows in the shape of something. This one is a dog. Typically it's like a head or something, but I kind of really want to try it. And I found this when I went thrifting the other day and I really want to try it out. That's what I'm doing with my freaking wild Monday night. All right, let's see what we got to do here. So, are there instructions? Yes. Okay, we have the seeds. We have the chia seeds, which honestly, like I already had chia seeds. I had chia pudding this morning, as you saw. Growing your chia pet planter. Soak your chia planter in water for one hour. Okay. Yes, this is going to be a longer process than I thought. Here's my little dog friend. It says it takes one to two weeks for the full coat to grow in. So let's hope that goes by quickly. Soak your chia planter in water for one hour. So like I literally just soaked this whole thing in water. Okay. There's my little friend <laughs> drowning in the water. And then it says in a separate container, mix two teaspoons of chia seeds in a quarter cup of water. Allow it to sit for an hour, stirring occasionally to moisten the seeds. The seeds will form a gel-like paste. I know, because I ate it for breakfast, which will help the seeds adhere to your chia planter. <laughs> this is so funny. Fill it with the water and place it in the drip tray and put it in an area with good sun exposure, but not too hot or too cold. Keep it filled with water each day. So I have to keep it in this. It's important for the first few days to keep the seeds moist. We recommend placing a plastic bag loosely over the chia planter for three or four days until the seeds sprout. This is kind of a lot of work because they made it seem really easy. Depending on the pond, the conditions in your home. Your chia will have a lifespan of approximately four weeks. Chia planters should be washed and can be replanted indefinitely. This feels like a lot of work for four weeks. Quarter cup of water and two teaspoons. Yes. <laughs> this is literally like making my breakfast. One and two. See you in an hour. All right, it's been a little more than an hour. I won't lie. I'm eating some cashews. Drew and I took a nap, but I'm supposed to fill this up with water, which it's already full with water, put it in this little drip tray, and then I'm supposed to take my goop, which by the way, that's what it looks like after an hour, an hour or so, and I smush it all into the grooves like this. And then that's it. This is really weird. Oh, this is so satisfying. Stick your hand in that. Thank you. All right, there she is in all her glory. How exciting. 
We'll see you in a few days, little friend. Gonna eat my cashews and enjoy the rest of my evening. I don't know how long this vlog is, but hopefully it was somewhat entertaining. This is just where my life is at right now, you know? We're gonna make some chicken schnitzel for dinner. <laughs> and I will catch up with you all in the next vlog. Love you.